Morning everyone, great to see you all. So, you know, during this time, we're all having to be incredibly adaptable, you know, aren't we? Whether that is because we are working from home or we're homeschooling our kids or we're having to do things slightly differently in our jobs or make different decisions for our business, you know, we're having to be adaptable and, and creative. And, you know, during this time, not sure if you feel like this, but it's also been a great chance to reflect and, you know, to kind of assess really you know, what, what your purpose in life is and, and, you know, what's important to you and also what you might want for your future career, etc., or your future businesses. So, you know, as I've been doing a lot of reflection, I just thought, actually, you know, one of the things which is really um, sticking in my mind is, is about just how adaptable and transferable we can be with our skills and knowledge um, during times like this, but any time, actually. You know, and if you think about a chameleon, you know, a chameleon changes um, and adapts to its environment really well. And, you know, what's got me thinking is actually we are all quite chameleon-like because we are also can be incredibly adaptable. You know, so what I want to talk about is transferable skills. Now, you might be in a position where you're, you know, you're thinking of either starting a business, scaling a business, maybe changing jobs, um, or the current circumstances might also mean that, you know, because of the certain situation you're in, that you, that you kind of have to be forced to change into doing something new. And I think sometimes when we're going through that process, you know, we can often, um, you know, convince ourselves that we, we don't have the skills, we don't have the knowledge, um, you know, the lack of self-belief can, can kick in sometimes. Um, and that little gremlin in your head can stop you from ever making the change or the move that you want to be. Now, you know, whether you're, whatever business you're in and whatever you might want to get into, you know, what I really want to, um, you know, help you realise is that we all have transferable skills. I can 100% guarantee you that no matter where your background or experience has been in your career, that you will have transferable skills that you can take into another role, another business, um, and into your, you know, a different area of your life. So we need to really kind of get that gremlin out of our way. And, um, you know, the, the well-known saying from Confucius is obviously, you know, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both usually right. So here's the thing. Whatever you want to do um, in terms of changing direction, you absolutely will have transferable skills that you can take with you. Now, I don't know if that sounds familiar to you um, at all, but certainly, you know, I've had times in, in my life where I've wanted to change direction and, and sometimes been felt slightly nervous about that. But actually, you know, when you step back from that, you will realise how much you, you bring to the party and to the table. So, you know, these are four easy steps that I'm just going to take you through to help you identify what your transferable skills might be. So the first thing I would suggest is literally, right, create some space for yourself just you know get to it get into a quiet room blank sheet of paper and literally just brainstorm all of the skills knowledge and experience that you have amassed over the however many years of your your career or, or life in business and do not stop writing until you finish so I think you know you'll be surprised how many you actually get down on paper so that's step one Step two, I would then reach out to some trusted people within your network who you've worked with in the past. It might be an old boss, it might be colleagues, it might be, you know, members of your team and actually, you know, ask them what they think your skills and key strengths are. And again, you know, you might be surprised because people often see us differently to how we see ourselves. And if you do that, you may well get some feedback where you think, oh, actually, gosh, I never realised they thought I was great at negotiating or whatever it may be. You know, so I would do that. Once you've got that, you've then got sort of almost like a big long list of all of those great skills and, and knowledge areas. So I try to group, group them into, into key areas because you might have some common themes. 
And then the fourth step really is to then compare that in terms of the skills that you have, which are highly transferable with what you want to move into in terms of business or new role. And that will help you identify any, any gaps that you might need to fill either through education or through you know, learning on the job or indeed through networking and, and getting help from other people, whether that's mentors or, or formally or informally. So you know, you'll, t you'll, you'll probably find that the skills go into two categories. Technical skills, um, which might be things like, for example, you know, you might um, be a trained or qualified accountant, you might be great at marketing, sales, operations, legal, tax, you might be an architect, you know, so those are sort of the more technical functional skills. Um, Equally, you will also have a whole bunch of skills which are more overarching than that. And that could be, you know, you might be a brilliant communicator. You might be fantastic at public speaking or presentation skills, negotiating, building brilliant, high performing teams. So, you know, you will generally have those two kind of areas, technical and more overarching skills, you know, and then you can really apply that to whichever business or new new venture you want to get into. So I, you know, I really hope this has given you a couple of tips. Uh, I would encourage you to get out of your own way. Don't be scared. Now is the perfect time to reflect and decide what you want your future to be. Um, and, and don't underestimate, don't undersell yourself. You are blooming amazing. Um, so just remember that. And I would just say, you know, be bold, be brave. Be amazing, get out there and, you know, grab whatever you want from life because you have so many skills that you can actually bring into a new venture. So I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you for watching um, and I really appreciate all your support. Take care and if I can be of any help, please, please, please just message me. No problem at all. Thanks a lot. Bye.